What's up, everybody? It's Mr. And Mrs. Bradley. Showing a little skin today, huh? I am. For our little video topic we got going on. All right, guys. Let's get into it. So before we get started with today's topic, make sure you guys subscribe like this video and also make sure you're following us on social media on instagram at the same name bradley party of six everything is linked down below and we would love to have you join the family yeah a lot of good stuff over there so today's topic is a good one i really um think this is a, a really interesting topic it's probably gonna hit some um some people because when they get into stuff like this, everybody don't always see this stuff exactly the same. So, yeah. So, you want to tell them what you came across? So, on Facebook, I get all my topics from Facebook, y'all. <laughs> People be having Facebook debates and I just be screenshotting them like, that's a good topic. So, on Facebook, I was um, just scrolling through, minding my business, and I saw a post and there was a man and a woman and they looked to me like they were on vacation, but there was a man and a woman. Obviously, we'll post the picture here so you guys can see it. And the woman had on, it was a it was a pretty revealing dress. I mean, she was in good shape, hey, but it was a pretty revealing dress. And the caption was, I don't understand why married women have to feel like they have to dress this way. And you're a wife, why do you want all this attention from other men? I just don't understand it. And there was a big debate underneath that caption with people going back and forth about if that's appropriate for a wife. She's still a woman, right? Correct. Um, and if she is working out and she's in good shape, she's not like, even, she if, she was, even if she wasn't working out in good shape, it's her body. Obviously, her, her husband is with her, so he, or boyfriend or whatever, so obviously he's he's okay with it. So why does it really matter? That was my whole thing. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I picked apart that entire statement because my first thought was, what is a wife? Like, what what does that even mean? You know what I mean? She, she shouldn't be wearing that because she's a wife. What does that even mean? Because she was the person she was before she became a wife. I'm sure when she became a wife, she didn't just start wearing those dresses. I don't know. See, I mean, like, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a line. And now how you walk that line, I think is different in all situations too. Because I think like, if you with your husband, the way you dress may be different than when you not with your husband. I mean, I think it's all situational too. Like I said, if you look at the picture, don't that picture look like they like on vacation or something? Like I wouldn't wear that to the family barbecue with your grandma there. But if we like on vacation, I I, I don't I didn't see the problem. Like people like she just want attention. Maybe who knows? Maybe she was overweight last year, and this year she maybe she had a baby and she was overweight and she felt some type of way about her body. And this year she worked really hard to get over that and get back in shape. And now she just want to show it off. Me for one, I love. I'm a big trophy wife kind of kind of guy. So like I like to I like to to walk around with mines and for her to, to wear her tight stuff and as long as I'm there because she got these mom jeans that I tell her all the time, put those on when we not together. He hates my mom <laughs> jeans and Birkenstocks. So, he can't stand my Birkenstocks either. So wear all that stuff. When you're not with me, feel free. But when she's with me, I, I love to, for Cece to be in something tight and semi-revealing. I don't want everybody in the world to see everything or nothing like that. But I mean, I like her in something tight and somewhat revealing because I mean that's it's mine and you know it's it's a part of it like who's to say that she not dressing for her husband or her man she going out with him so people, you know people love to speculate <laughs> people love to just debate for debate's sake and I feel like that's kind of what that was but there were a lot of like women under there in particular I feel like women tear other women down the most and it just gives 
men ammunition to do the same because there were so many women underneath that post that were really saying the same thing and they were like I just if she's a wife she just looking for attention in a dress like that and I mean just kind of going all types of crazy now the dress was pre was pretty revealing however she had the body for it you know y'all better hope I'll never get abs if I get abs oh it's over for everybody everybody again I go back to like the substance if you with your man I think there's certain things that you can wear, which I shouldn't say can, because you're an adult, you can wear whatever you want. But I think if you're with your man or significant other, then, I mean, he, he or she is right there. So what attention are you, per se, looking for? Cause That's what, the thing. Yeah. It's like, what? So she's seeking attention, plus she with her man? Like, that don't make sense. It just don't make sense. So that got us to thinking, like, what is, well, me, I should say, to thinking, and then we can look through some stuff. What is, like appropriate to wear together or at all or alone so came across a few pictures um cc would never be a cc talk it's hilarious because we look at some stuff she'll show me something she's like where is they going in this like where is this person wearing this outfit to it's usually fashion no but <laughs> y'all just like scroll through your like i sometimes i'll just be scrolling through instagram and like a Fashion Nova um, post will come up. And I'll just be like, this is like borderline porn. Like <laughs> I'm afraid to scroll through Fashion Nova's Instagram at work. Like I don't want anyone looking over my shoulder and be like, what are you looking at? Cause if you just glance for a minute, you don't know sometimes. Like those Fashion Nova ads be like pushing it, pushing it. And um, and I'm obvious. I'll wear like whatever, but some of those things it just be like, I just would love to know where you're going. Like, where am I going to wear? Where would I? Why would I buy a dress like this? Cause where am I going to wear it? All right, y'all. So I got my phone, and we're gonna be looking at some photos, and we're gonna put them on the screen. And you guys, y'all will have to rate down below what you think about this stuff if you think it's appropriate to wear if you think it's too much you, or let, would it be okay if you was with your significant other to wear? yeah let us know what you guys think okay this first photo okay this is let me just go i actually really like this dress and i would totally wear that dress probably not on like mom's day out with me and the kids but if i was i would wear this probably that'd probably be more of a vacation dress it's not really a club dress but if we were like on vacation i would totally wear that like on the resort i think that's or a, something um, like that i think it's really cute i think it's a really i think that dress works like in all situations like i wouldn't feel uncomfortable if you was wearing that dress and you wasn't with me, obviously I would love that dress if you was with me. I think it's a really cute dress. I don't I think I don't think it's it's too revealing. I think it's sexy, but like like what's the word I'm looking for? Not like um closed off, but it's sexy, but like not so not super revealing at the same time. Yeah, I I really actually really like this dress and I might add that to my cart or my <laughs> wish list after this. I really enjoyed this dress and I would definitely wear it. So, okay. All right, so the next dress, this one, now, I feel like this is two-sided, okay? Because for this one here, it's like, on her, I feel like it, it, I feel like it's a lot on her and all the equipment that she is working with. Now on me, I don't, I don't have that much boobs, so I feel like it would not look like that, and it wouldn't look as bad. We should order some of these and try them on and see what they look like. But I just feel like it just wouldn't look as bad on me. I, and we've had this conversation before where, like, somebody who's a size 2 could wear a dress, and I could wear, me being a size 10, could wear the exact same dress with hips and thighs and all of that, and it would look like a completely different garment, and it would... In people's minds, they would think of it differently on me than on someone smaller. I actually think she looks really good. Um, I think that Who? outfit, the the, 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 the this dress. Yeah, I actually don't. I, it kind of reminds me of the dress with the couple, the outfit, the kind of like the outfit she's wearing with the couple. I don't think it looks. But that her good. body is. That's what I'm saying, though. Like she didn't have as much boob as this, so this looks really like. Bam, and the other girl, in my opinion, doesn't look like that. I feel like, 
again, I, is this an outfit I would per se want you to wear if we wasn't together? Probably not. But I mean, so where are we going with this dress on? Where am I going? We're going to. I mean, I think that'd be like. Where are we going? We might be going to like a uh, like if it's in white, maybe like an all white party, or like I mean something like adult. Obviously, like an adult event. We ain't going to backyard barbecue, or we ain't going to eat at no like five. You know, no 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 restaurant. It's got to be like an adult event. I think you would have to wear something like this too. Yeah, well, yeah, you have to. <laughs> I don't feel like like I mean I feel like she's covered, like. I don't know what the bottom of the dress looks like. Um, obviously, she got a lot of legs showing in the picture, but I mean, so I'm pretty sure it's a split. I mean, I don't, I don't know that. This one to me, if we together, I would be okay with it. Okay. If we were together, I, not so much alone. I don't know if I want you going out kicking it or anything like that in this dress, but together, so I'm assuming you wouldn't wear this dress. Probably not. I feel like I, all night I would just be tucking at it to make sure like <laughs> nothing falling nipples out. aren't showing. <laughs> I would be doing that all night. So it wouldn't be comfortable for me. But then again, like you said though, like if it's smaller, like you don't have to fit, like you got a smaller cup size, so the dress gonna be a little smaller at so the top. So you have to make sure it fits right. Yeah. Example number three. Now this one is a lot. This one is doing a whole lot. What is the big difference between this one and the last one, though? Like, her ass is almost out. Like, her whole ass is, like, damn near out. Like, if she, like, moved the wrong way, her ass is, is showing. So, you're, it's because the dress is too short, or it's because of the splits up the side? The splits up the side. And both. It's a combo of both. Like, the splits and the, the shortness of, like, her boobs is covered. I'm okay with the top of the dress. It's once you get below the hips is where it's the, the, the issue for this me. This is one of those outfits where I'm like, like, obviously, she, she, like, all these Fashion Nova models, like, have their butts done and their boobs done, and you can tell, so they're all the same damn shape. So, you can tell they know I had their butts and their boobs done, but... This is one of those outfits where like if she was a size two, then it wouldn't, I mean, it would still be, it would still be a lot because it's split up the side, yes. but she not gonna have like hips and, and butt. And so it's gonna be like, it, it's not, it wouldn't be as revealing as this right here. And so this is one of those, like, like I said, if someone a size two wore it, they was, it was, this one would still be a lot, but say there are no splits up the side and it's just short. Like, it would look completely different on her than it would on me. I don't know. You be saying that, but I, I see what you're saying. But I feel like short is still short. Like, I feel like if I see a girl in size, a girl that's a size 2 with a short-ass dress on, and I see a girl that's a size 12 or 14 with a short-ass dress on, it's still a short dress. Now, I do... But the short is going to be... But the size 2 short just going to go straight down. The size yeah, just 12 say, and nah, 14 gonna be, is going to be like... It's, it's some oh. curve. It's going to be some curve. Some, in some cases, because I know some 12 and 14s who ain't got nothing back there and it's, it's in the front. But well, then it's going this way. <laughs> well, instead of, instead of going, it'll be just going this way then. Yeah, I don't but know. I, I, but I know some 12 Either way, the material going to be stretched I'm a little saying, more. I know some 12 and 14s who just don't have no butt. So I don't think it's per se a butt thing, but I, I feel like a short dress is a short dress. And it's go, you're going to get some heads turned regardless if it's a 2 or a 12. You will, but I, I feel like they'll be viewed differently. Like, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be viewed differently. So, would you wear this dress by yourself? I wouldn't wear this dress either way. <laughs> I, think I, it's, I think it's ugly. And I think it's, I personally just think it's, it's just doing a lot. I just don't know where I'd wear it to. Maybe if I had the, the appropriate venue, I don't know. On vacation in but I don't know. Somewhere. No. This, this whole thing is just ugly to me. I don't really like it. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I I'm not a fan of it, period. But... I, I mean, I just, I don't know where I would wear something like that too. Cause even on vacation, I don't feel like this is, where am I going? Let, let me let, let us know what y'all think down below on all these so far. So I just, I just think it's a thing is just doing a lot. It's a lot of, it's a lot of skin, a whole lot of skin showing. All right. So here's the next one. I will be the first to say, I really like this one. And um, when I lose my next 15 pounds or whatever, you can wear this right I'm now. I'm wearing that. You can wear this right now. We're going to buy this. And I don't know if we're wearing pants when we go to Putacana, but um, <laughs> yeah, you can wear this right now. I think this is very, like, again, kind of like the first outfit. Like, it's sexy at the same time, but it's not, like, showing a whole lot of skin. I think this is, like, an appropriate. I, 
I feel bad saying appropriate. Like, you can wear whatever you want to wear, obviously. But um, I guess I, I would be I would be cool, like, if you wore this and you was going to kick it with your friends or something like that, or if we was together or whatever. I, I don't, this this outfit doesn't make me feel any kind of way when I see it. It's like a, it's a really nice looking outfit. I like it. And I, I'm telling y'all, but just, just wait. I'm going to have, I'm going to have, okay, probably not the whole summer, but like the second half of the summer. I'm gonna be wearing crop tops. You already and my be stomach gonna be out. I do, but I'm wearing the high waisted <laughs> so it balances it out. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna live in stuff like this as soon as I get my abs. With, with Queens right on the side of you. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna live in stuff. I'm gonna go to the mall with this outfit on no, right not. here. No, you're not. Why not? Because you're not. With MJ, and I'm gonna be <laughs> working in Mariah, gonna have embarrassing her. I'm like, what are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> to the mall with y'all. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last two. <clears throat> I think this is a very, again, this is, this is, this is like sexy. It's borderline. I think it's on, I think it's walking on like a really fine Because of the line. slits on the side? Yeah. The, I think it's walking a really fine line. I definitely would be like this is like club in Miami type. Yeah, you know, like you got to be with your significant. To me, this is a significant other outfit. Like you gotta, you should be with, you gotta be with your significant other in this outfit. I can't wear this for girls' night. You think that's appropriate for girls' night? <laughs> Do you tell me? Do you, you think it's appropriate for girls' night? Not in Cleveland, but say I took a girl trip to like Vegas or Miami. Why it gotta be? Why it gotta be out of the city? What does being out of the city got to do with anything? Because we don't have any appropriate <laughs> venues to wear this to. That's my problem. That's what I'm saying. What is, we got nightclubs just like any other city got nightclubs. No, it's not the same. How? <laughs> this, this is a vacation nightclub dress. Oh my god! No, I didn't. I didn't know that you had to go somewhere. <laughs> In order for something to become appropriate, I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't aware of that. This isn't a, an in the city nightclub dress. This is a. What if and what if the people who in the city dress. just so happen to be in the other city and where you go to? Don't matter. This is a vacation <laughs> nightclub dress. I don't know about that. So you be okay. You you think this is appropriate to wear, Dolo? I I I'm on the fence about. It. I probably. I'm on the fence about this one. I think I could wear. I think I might wear something like this. Maybe the slits, Alone. the slits on the side give me a little pause. They give me a little pause. But if there were no slits on the side, I think it'd be perfect. I think it'd be fine. I mean, it's kind of like the dress you got on right but now. But the with slits the slit. on the side give me a pause. No, because this, this goes all the way up, so you can tell it ain't got no underwear. Well, I'm, that's because of the the slits on the side. I was gonna right. say without the slits. That's why I said it's kind of like the dress you got on right oh, now. Oh well, yeah. So. Like the thighs out, so I mean, there's still a lot of thighs out, but um, I mean, without the slits, I think I might be okay with it, but that's that's a lot. Look like something like um, 18, 19 year olds, or 17, 18 year olds would try to rock the prom. Like if Morgan came to me, when she wanted to wear this a prom, we would have a very stern conversation about daddy's not buying stuff I don't like think that. anybody is wearing that prom. I could see you. Then you wore. Didn't you wear something like that? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. Or after prom? Maybe after prom. I don't think anybody wearing this to after prom. I don't know. So last outfit. I would totally wear this, minus the sleeve. I don't know what that sleeve has going on, but the actual make of the dress, as far as the revealedness of it, I would wear that. I mean, she got she she pretty covered. It, it's, it's one of them dresses. I feel like. It look like it's showing a lot, but it's really not showing much. Because she got a lot. That's that be that's what I'm saying. She ain't got a. She don't look like she look like she a size C cup. No, she doesn't. Uh, maybe a maybe a, a, a D, but not nothing higher than a D to me. Um, you a C cup. And I don't look anything like that. Like I said, so maybe a D. But I think it's like I said, it looked like it, I'm saying it looks like it's showing a lot because it's a lot of skin showing, but it's a lot of skin showing and like. Not like she like her boobs ain't like exposed. She got a lot of legs showing, but I feel like most women in the summertime or nightclub outfits is is showing a lot of leg and and you know skin on the arms and stuff. So it looks like it's showing a lot, but it's, it's really not showing much at all to me. I feel like I, I like I said I I would wear a dress like this out. I, I mean out to a club or something. I would wear a dress like this. I actually really I think it's cute. What's your sandals? Minus the sleeves. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cause y'all know CC don't wear heels no more. I do sometimes. 
I wore them to dinner. I just took them off after dinner. Yeah. So, because this is definitely a heel outfit. You would need heels in this. You can't be rocking around in your so Birkenstocks. So, you need stocks. to get me a table. <laughs> when we go to the club, we need to make sure we paying for a table and bottle service. Oh, so you, so you will wear this. Would you wear this alone? Yeah. Okay, so I ain't taking, I ain't paying for no bottle or no table that we ain't together. So who paying for that table and then bottle? You is when I pay with our joint debit card. What do you mean? Hello. Anyway. Hello. So, so, so um, yeah, guys. I mean, this is. I guess I feel like this is like everybody has they like spiel when it comes to like what a wife is supposed to look and dress like. I don't know. Like I said, I, we maybe we got a broad approach. I, we would love to hear your, you know, your thoughts and your, how, how you guys felt about these these outfits down below and what you guys think a wife, quote unquote, should look like. I just I it's it's really hard for like I just hate that word. A uh, wife, like what is that supposed to mean? That means something different for everyone and in every single relationship. And if you're looking at societal norms or other people to tell you what a wife looks like, then you're gonna be going wrong from the very beginning. That's kind of like when you think about like what a grandmother looks like or something. These grandmothers today don't look like that. Like when you think about gr the word grandmother Grandma. in your head. These grandmas today don't look like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to, like. They're so younger. They're getting younger. Well. <laughs> you got to do, you got to do you. You know what I'm saying? You have to, you have to do what's comfortable for you in your relationship. And if you feel like you want to show some skin because you got it, then you got it, girl. So it's, it's funny, but I think we're going to end it with this, which is kind of like, uh, like some words affirmation i guess or words to carry on so when we you guys know we, we recently went to um cancun and uh cc two piece and all and it was was showing and everybody was like uh you work it and, and cc had like um what was it you, you i mean you guys can explain the post a little better than i if you guys follow on cc on instagram you would know oh you mean because i had on when i had on my baby that's it yeah so i've been working really hard on like body confidence and um like if anybody like if y'all have watched me for any period of time either on this channel or on my main channel then you would know that like there have been periods where i've struggled with body confidence and i still do and we go work out all the time and i've had three babies and like things just don't look the way they used to they don't look the way i remember them looking and so i'm just trying to figure out i'm trying to find my happiness when it comes to my body you know regardless of what he says regardless of what anyone else says i'm trying to find my happiness and i kind of put that in a post and when i was in um when we were in cancun i had on my bikini and i posted myself in my what bikini booty, little booty out it was not out little booty out but i posted <laughs> myself in my bikini and um yeah, that was the post. So, the reason I said, um, I know she said it don't matter what, what he said or what everybody else said, but that's the reason why I actually brought this up. Because a lot of the comments, which I think to bring this whole thing full circle is, like I said at the beginning, like the, her significant other in the picture is good. And if, if she good and he good, it really, to me, it don't really matter what nobody else thinks in that situation. Yeah, it don't. <laughs> so, I mean... At the end of the day, forget societal norms or what something is supposed to look like. You are what you want to look like and what you want your significant other or your relationship to envision. So I feel like that's how we end every single video because that's honestly the overarching theme and message of marriage, to be quite honest. You do what works for you and your union. And that's it. That's, that's the end all be all. What works for y'all? Oh, that works? It's weird to me, but it works for y'all? Have at Have it. Have at it. So, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Until the next one, it is Mr. And Mrs. Bradley. Checking out. Peace.